All right, starting the flattening process. All right, plan is to go from this to this. Hello, everybody. Making myself another flattening jig. This time I'm going to use my electric planer instead of a uh, router. Everybody seems to use a router. So, I've shaped a little piece of 2x2 two two for the inside the back end of the planer here. That's the notch out for all the little pieces of plastic in there. Made her so she fits in there nice and flush. Now I'm gonna glue that in place. That way I can drill a hole straight through it and it's gonna have something solid inside there so it's not gonna break apart. There's the threader rod inserted. Get an idea what she's gonna look like. Now I gotta make my cares go around that. Make it so it adjusts up and down. All right, there's the cares. It's gonna go around my planer. Yeah, I weld those nuts onto my threader rod. That way I have adjustment. For the depth. Right, so I planned on mounting the planer in there. Now I gotta make my angle iron sled. Similar to the router sled. Only difference is gonna be with the angle iron sled. For this one I'm gonna put wheels on it. Here is my sled assembled. Two inch non swivel casters on each end. The angle iron is just sandwiched in between. A few screws on either end. And then my planer jig just sits inside that. Like so. have most of the high is taken off a little bit on the far end that's a little bit low It'd be good for the bottom side I'm gonna flip it over take the whole highs off on that side and then I'll decide which is gonna be the top and bottom finish it off that way all right I'm gonna go in for the night I clamp my boards on both ends to try and prevent cupping this is a good side-by-side -side comparison of using the planer to level it versus the router sled. The router sled leaves a hell of a mess behind. The planer looks pretty.